All right. Ooh, something good here. Unbelievably good. Oh, God. Cut it up, guys. What do you reckon, Kat? All right, welcome back, folks, to another episode. My intention was to go for some squid. It just didn't happen. So I decided that I wanted to venture off and go for the biggest whiting I've seen this year. Um, big sand whiting and King George whiting as well. And uh, we'll see you out there in the water. Right, so I decided to throw my rig over to see what's down there. Only small hooks. Bit of curry. Oh my god. What do we got here? Snapper and trumpeters. All right, that's interesting. I think I might have one here. I don't know if you're stuck to the sea anchor. My God. Oh, I thought I had a squid. What is it, weed? Okay. Put that on board. It's not happening. All right, so I managed to brave the conditions. It's not too bad. On the way back, it's gonna be bad, but I'm gonna stay here. King George whiting and whiting on the species, on the target, had to scrap the squid. Wasn't happening. I'll still throw a squid jig out here anyway. Right away, the old Panossa rig. I've already got bait on them. So, and lucky I bought some squid. So whiting, King George whiting with a bonus. There we go, bombs away. I might deploy the sea anchor, but I'll put it around the back of the boat. Might be a fish on board. Maybe, let's have a quick look. All right, whiting. Really small whiting. Small whiting. Well, this feels good. This feels promising. Don't think it's a butterfish. Oh yeah, it's a nice. Oh, that's a nice whiting. Stonk of a whiting. And the other ones I will keep. Sand whiting. That's good. That's a nice fish. I'm happy with that. Okay, so this one here feels a bit different. Feels a bit different. Thought so. So, oh, and the flathead. Right, so two species I can throw back. The butterfish, oh, and the flathead self-release. What a gentleman. So this is a different rig. I see the bottom, bottom lead I've got. Like the sinker sitting there and that there's like that. That caught the flathead, the other one caught the butterfish. Alrighty. Ooh, something good here. Something good here. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, come on, in the board, you beauty. Oh, I did it again. Did it again, good, good King George. Got the other rod out there too. So this fish saved my day, well hooked. He wasn't going anywhere. That's <laughs> a fine specimen. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm happy with just the one fish. It's taken me a while. There's not much out here. But that's a fine specimen. He's about 40 centimetres. I'm not going to measure him up. Then again, I might, might as well get the other rod out waiting out there, just in case. Yeah, 42 centimetres. Thanks very much. I just love these fish. I love them. <laughs> they are good fighters. There's no doubt about it, for their size. Just shows sometimes in other days they're so slow. What's the time now? Quarter to nine. Been at it for maybe two hours, going for squid. That was a no show. Oh, here you go. Well, that's not little. It's not too bad. A boom, boom, bit of curry. So it's a, it's a flatty. Oh no. All right, never fear. Got this. Grab them like that, get your pliers, disengage the hook. Goodbye. 
Beautiful. Alrighty. Bit of boom boom. So it's a good sand whiting. Not too bad. Not too bad. Sort of mid range. Fantastic. Oh, this feels. This feels unbelievably good. Not much head shakes. Oh my god. Okay, it's one of those um, scorpion fish garnets. Now they are good eating. Now I think the name for them, or well, the nickname is um, Poor Man's Lobster. And just keep away from those spines. There we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They will inflict a very nasty, painful wound. That's not a bad fish. Poor man's lobster. Okay, this feels promising. I had a really good bite first and then missed it. Dropped it back down. Could be a flatty. Oh no, it's a butterfish. Goodness me. Right, so I got him this time. I'd say it's a butterfish. What have you got here? Oh no, it's a stonk of a whiting. Woo! That's a big whiting. The other rod is going off too. Whoa, that is massive. That is beautiful. Right. So just when I thought I was going to go home, I need some more bait, but we've got this beautiful little squid. Nothing great, but still, the way I'm going, a squid is a squid. Calamari. Beautiful. Fine specimen. Oh, God. <laughs> Did you see that? Did not expect that. Thanks, mate. Ugh. Promising. I don't know if it's KG. No, it's a good whiting. That's a stonker. Oh my goodness. Oh. What do they call them? Wrist slappers. That's a beauty of a, of a, of a, of a whiting. This rod went ballistic. Oh no. Still on. So, oh, I think it's just come off again. No, he's on, he's on. Whitey, I reckon there was two fish on that one. That one's a bit small for our liking. So, I've got this one right on the hookup. Yeah, good size widen again. No one here's going off too. So plump. Good filleting size as well. Not net. I think I may have lost. It could be on. It could be tangled up too. It's been around this side here. Big whiting. Big whiting. And that rod taken off. Don't want to waste any chances. Might be a good size whiting here too. It's not the KG. You can see him come through the water. Yeah, lovely fish. They are big. Biggest whiting I've seen this year, except for the King George whiting. This one here swallowed it. Yeah, magnificent fish. Here, this one here actually went for both hooks. <laughs> what was I panicking for? He wasn't going anywhere. Right. I always keep hitting the camera on and off. This one here, it's gotta be a KG. Oh my God, is he a KG? Woo! My God. In the money again. In the money again. I'm just looking out for that rod to take off. Woo hoo! 
I love KGs. Oh my god. And he took some line too. So rest assured, KGs and sand whiting will be found together. Unless I'm drifting over a little little patch of weed. This guy is definitely in the sand as well. Definitely going for the same species. Same bait and these long shank hooks. That's a pearl of a fish. It's probably about the same 43 mark. I really thought it was a lot bigger. Because as I brought him up to the boat, took some line. But a bing. Right. Woo! Cook up. Now I've already spent my afternoon cleaning all the fish. That's a big whiting. That's going to be the star of the show. Even though the King George is definitely still going to be part of the menu. Um, I'm just showing you this for demonstration purposes. But I'm going to be cooking this piece or just part of it. But the main thing I'm going to be doing: big sand whiting and the one squid. And I'm going to be using these skewers. Now I used this in uh, a previous episode, just in the fillets. But I've been experimenting and cooking them whole. It is just absolutely outstanding. I really enjoy this way of, of cooking and, and eating the fish. It's a lot healthier because I'm not using any, any fried deep fish whatnot. So I'm just basting these skewers with oil and a bit of salt. Mainly because as it cooks, it will stick to them. And very simple. Simple apparatus, oil, a bit of salt fresh parsley and garlic it's probably too much parsley but that's fine now I'm just gonna slightly cut this just the skin gonna be rubbing this oil and salt and garlic mix all along the flesh same for the same for the squid in fact I use this rosemary thing because I meant to do that <laughs> Make it a bit more petite. <laughs> so I'll do that anyway. And also, you get some of the rosemary essence going into the flesh, which rosemary fish, I don't know, that's, don't know if it's a good combo, but that's how it goes. The King George I'll cook in a separate way. I want to fry that up for mum. But I've got these things here. Poke it through the head. It has been gutted. And I just need to get this side on one side and just poke it through. Probably go for the backbone all the way down to the tail like that. For the calamari, I haven't done this, so I just don't know if this is going to work. Poke it like that and like that. And like that just like that I'm going to use two of the skewers to hold either side but ah, that's right it's beautiful right here so I've, I've got a brick I've wet it so it won't contaminate nothing that's what I'm doing here so the hot plate the heat come through they won't touch this at all so you won't get no charring you will get charring from the heat but nothing directly from the, uh, the grill plate, it's got a bit of a bow on it, that's fine. But for the King George whiting, there you go, so I've taken the skin off and I'm going to cut them into bite sized pieces. This is a clean cut and boards, it's stone from, from squid guts. So just like that, this piece like that going to be really simple I'm just going to dust it very lightly I didn't want to do this but this actually protects the flesh when it's cooking in the fry pan believe it or not that's why sometimes it's good to actually cook it with the skin still on all these leftover oil and garlic and parsley 
and salt. All the goodness. And just really lightly fry this in the fry pan right over here. In the meantime, let's see how this is going. Oh yeah, oh yeah, looking good. So it's not quite ready, the fish is, whoops, starting to slide off, that's not a good sign. So it's starting to slide off, so it must mean it's almost getting ready on that side, and the fish will definitely cook a lot quicker than the calamari. A little bit of a failure here. That's how big this fish is, it's starting to slide off. Go back to its normal position. Squeeze some lemon. King George Whiting. Now it is windy, but it is hot. Just want to lightly fry it. Squeeze the lemon. Calamari's looking great. I'm really worried about this fish. Yeah, so I had to put it down on the grill. It's wobbling around a bit. I don't want to disturb it. I so say the flesh is so delicate. Doesn't like what I'm doing. That's fine. Just let it cook off like that. Calamari's looking okay. Let me have a quick slice taste test. And it says cooking. I might carve a bit off. It says roast squid. As long as it's hot. Yep, not quite. I'm actually going to do the same, bring it really close to the grill. Let's go to the King George. Yep, beautiful. I'm actually going to turn this off and let it sit because that will cook through until the other fish are ready. You want it soft and delicate. That's it, turn this off. Alrighty. As I said, this was not meant to happen. That's all right. Yeah, so that's like a medium rare and that will definitely cook. I want to turn this gas off Calamari, I don't know. I hate under under. I hate uh, raw calamari. It needs to be soft and tender. All right, so I can actually start putting it, put my my knife through. Let me carve another piece off. There we go. Yeah, that's a lot better. So it's slowly, slowly cooking. I'm gonna get this fish. Put it onto the plate. And calamari. I reckon she's done too. Might leave it on there. How about that? King George Whiting, Sand Whiting, and the Calamari. Righty. Time for the taste test. Sorry about the camera angle. But that's my that's my microphone. But this I'm just going to eat it caveman style. That is delicious. I'm, I'm glad I let it cook for a bit longer because it is nice and tender. Oh, nice. Lemon, lemon, salt, garlic, herbs. Sorry about the fingers, I haven't got no apparatus with me right here. Let's get into the whiting. Definitely cooked. There you go. Beautiful. There's a few bones there. I'll just try and avoid them. That char grilling on the barbie brings out this really natural, earthy cooking flavour. It is just the dwarf one is just soft and tender and juicy. 
Mm, I can keep going. King George, and we have a little bit, just a little bit, right here. Caviar of the ocean. King George whiting, sand whiting, calamari, what do you reckon, cat? <laughs> he loves his whiskers. Anyway, Don Petit, have a great time. Make sure you give me a comment, a thumbs up. See you next time. Salute. Mm -hmm. Fish, fish tucker at tucker, its best. Fish tucker, fish tucker man. Fish tucker, fish tucker, the fish tucker man.